2021, these three things will be my declaration. And I'm encouraging you to take these things and also get in the word of God and, and find some, some scriptures for yourself to hold on to and to be believing and to be trusting. Because I'm telling you, we have not seen anything yet as it pertains to what the world is getting ready to do and what the world is getting ready to become. But if your heart is fully fixed on the promises of God. If your mind is committed to believe in the promises of God, my Bible tells me that he gives peace to those who keep their mind stayed on him. So it is going to be absolutely important that in this season that you make a decision to stand on the word of God no matter what, okay? So Mood 2021 is I'm standing on the word of God. What's up, Titus? Hey, Earl. Yes, fully fixed, baby. Hey, Emily, how are you doing? And so we got three things that we're gonna be believing according to the word of God. And again, I'm encouraging you to get some scripture yourself. But number one is I am protected. Go ahead and put it in the comments. And when I say the scripture, can someone please put it in the comments for me as well? Make this declaration. I am protected. Put it in the comments. Psalm 118, six and seven says, the Lord is on my side. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? The Lord is on my side. He is my helper. Therefore, I will look in triumph over those who hate me. Again, that was Psalm 118, six through seven. I'll read it again. It says, the Lord is on my side. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? The Lord is on my side. He is my helper. Therefore, I will look in triumph on those who hate me. I'm encouraging you to get with the word, okay? Do not be dismayed by what you see. Do not be dismayed by what you hear, but stand on the fact that we have a promise from our God that because he is on our side, we will not be afraid. And because he is our helper, what can man do to us? And because he is on our side, side, we'll be able to look in triumph on those who hate us. And we understand that those who hate us ultimately, because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, we wrestle against um, spiritual wickedness in high places. We know that it is not people that hate us. It is not people that are coming against us. It is that spirit on the inside of them that is coming against us. And so when we make this declaration, what we are saying, we look in triumph for victory. We look in triumph for deliverance to occur in their life. We look in triumph for reformation to come in their spirit. We look for triumph for revival. Bible to look to hit this land. We look for triumph for racism to be eradicated. We look in triumph to see that those who were once against and opposed the righteousness of God, that they begin to stand firm in the things of God. This is what we as the believers, we make the declaration of what God said, not what we see. I am protected. And I'm not backing down and I'm not backing off of that. I don't care what happens in 2021. The word of God says a thousand may fall at my side, 10,000 at my right hand, but it shall not come near my dwelling. I am protected. And you're going to have to make a decision in your heart and your mind, no matter what transpires in 2021. My Bible says, according to Psalms 118, 6 and 7, the 6 and 7, the Lord is my helper. And because he is my helper and because he is on my side, I will look in triumph on those who hate me. I will see victory because I am protected. Number two, not one, not two, but two. <laughs> I will not be put to shame. Go ahead and declare it in the comments. I will not be put to shame. That's the, the old, um, the Old Testament version, but the New Testament version is um, all things work together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. So we have in Isaiah 49, 22 through 23, it says, this is what the Lord God says. Behold, I will lift up my hand to the nations and raise my banner to the people. They will bring your sons in their arms and carry your daughters on their shoulders. Kings will be your foster fathers and their queens, your nursing mothers. They will bow to you face down and lick the dust at your feet. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Those who hope in me 
iniquity will never be put to shame. Again, the word of the Lord, it says, then you will know that I am the Lord and those who hope in me will never be put to shame. I will not be put to shame. We understand that Isaiah was declaring the word, word of the Lord and this was um, as, as a decree of, of Israel coming back and Israel being restored. But because we have that latter clause that says those who hope in me will not be put to shame because you call yourself or because you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and you have established in your heart and in your mind that your hope is in God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Your hope is in God, Jehovah Rapha, your your hope is in God, Jehovah Nisi. Your hope is in God, Jehovah Tiskanu. Your hope is in God, Jehovah Shalom. I can declare I will never be put to shame because I hope in the great God. I will not be put to shame. I will not be put to shame. I don't care what happens. Every single thing that occurs in 2021 must work together for my good because the word of God says so. You're going to have to have make up in your heart and in your mind. I will believe the report of the Lord. You're going to have to make up in your heart and your mind. I will not be moved by my emotions. I will not be moved by society. I will not be moved by what I see, but I will stand firm on what the word of the Lord says. You're going to have to be fortified in the word of God, because if you do not, you will faint. If you do not, you will grow weary. If you do not, you will find yourself being led astray. You cannot be, you cannot be moved by your emotions. And I know it's like, well, how can you say that? I mean, don't you see what's happening? Yes. And as a black woman, I am appalled. As a black woman, I, I, I could say a whole bunch of things, but as a child of God, as a son of the, as a son of God in the earth, as a royal priesthood, I have to declare what the word of the Lord is. And the word of the Lord is not rebellion. The word of the Lord is not, um, dissension. The word of the Lord is not division. The word of the Lord is not hate. And I'm going to declare what the word of the Lord is. We will see reformation. We will see revival. We will see change. And when I see this stuff, this kind of stuff erupting, I understand that it is the spirits of rebellion that are trying to have their last little ruha before they have to go. I declare the word of the Lord. I, I declare what I see in the spirit, not what I see in society. And you as a believer, you're going to have to get into place, get sober to the things of God that you're not running off at the mouth because the word of God says life and death is in the power of the tongue. And we have been coming into agreement with the enemy because we have been moved by our emotions, declaring what our feelings say instead of what faith says. Mood 2021, what is the word of the Lord? That is what I declare. What is the word of the Lord? That is what I stand on. What is the word of the Lord? That is what I speak. And if I do not know the word of the Lord, I am silent. I will not come into agreement with the enemy because of how I feel. I will surrender my feelings to the Lord. I will surrender my feelings to a therapist if I need to go to someone. I will surrender my feelings to a counsel that will, will counsel me wisely, that will not support me, me being a person who is um, it's not in alignment with the will of God. 2021 is not the time to be moved by your emotions because I'm telling you, if you move by your emotions, something that is inconsistent, something that is always changing, something that cannot be trusted, my dear friend, you will be double-minded and unstable in all your ways. You will be frustrated. You will be aggravated. You will have no peace because it's going to get crazier. So you're going to have to make up in your mind, what report will you believe? You're going to have to make up in your mind, what God will you trust in? Who will you serve? Jesus, number three. For those of you who are just tuning in, we are talking about mood 2021. And number one is, um, I am protected according to Psalms 118, six and seven. Number two is I will not be put to shame according to Isaiah 49, 22 and 23. And number three is I won't lack a thing. I will not lack 
a thing. Go ahead and put it in the comments. Make it your declaration because according to Psalm 34, 8 and 9, it says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his saints. For those who fear him lack nothing. I'll read it again. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his saints. For those who fear him lack nothing. If you decide in your heart to do what Psalm 34, 8 and 9 says, my dear friend, my dear brother, my dear sister, you have a promise from the word of the Lord that you will lack nothing. Other people around you may, but because your fear, your hope, and your trust is in this great God, you will lack nothing. You will not be put to shame and you will be protected. I'm encouraging you, stand on the word. Be a believer that when people come around you, they hear hope. When people come around you, they hear compassion. When people come around you, they hear that, hey, this obviously is one of the sons of God in the earth. This is obviously one of a, a true believer because their, their mindset is completely different. Because we don't say what we see, we say what he said. We say what the word says. We stand on the word. We stand on the word. We stand on the word. And if you do not make a decision to stand on something that is eternal, my dear friend, you are going to slip in this hour. You are going to be weary in this hour. You're going to be frustrated in this hour. You're going to be afraid in this hour. And my Bible says that righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost, that is the kingdom of God. And so you as a believer, no matter what is going on, you should be operating in righteousness. You should be living in peace and you should have joy because the Holy Spirit empowers and enables you. This is the position of the believer, no matter what. And I'm not discrediting our feelings. I'm not discrediting our emotions, but we as the people of God got to get past them. You send your woes and your cares to the Lord in prayer. You tell those that you are close and confident with what confident, um, close and, and familiar and comfortable with what's going on on the inside of you from an emotional perspective. But you stand on the word. When people come around you, you stand on the word. Let the word of God be what you use to encourage people in this hour. Because we don't have nothing else. And if we look to what is going on in the world around us, we have every reason not to hope. We have every reason to be dismayed. We have every reason to be fearful and frustrated. But if we look to the great hope, if we look to the one who created the heavens and the earth, if we look to the one who still sits on the throne, has not moved and will not move because that is his position, if we look to him, we will find protection. We will find provision. And we'll find security. So move 2021. I am protected. I won't lack a thing. <sighs> and I will not be put to shame. I hope you beautiful people have a wonderful, marvelous Thursday. If there's anything that I said on this live that has caused any kind of confusion, know that you can always hit me up. I, I do not mind being questioned. I do not mind giving you answers, particularly from the word of God. But we as the body of Christ, we have to lead by example. And we look like the world right now. And again, I'm not throwing shade at nobody. I'm not suggesting that what we feel is not real because, you know, it's, it's annoying. It's aggravating. It's frustrating. It's tiring. It is exhausting. But you have to understand we live in a fallen world and this fallen world is operating as it should. And we have to decide that we're going to be the people of God who determine in ourselves that we're going to be about the kingdom of God and we're going to expand and enlarge it for his glory. We're going to make preaching the gospel of the most importance. 
We're going to make help helping people understand their identity in Christ of the most importance. We're going to make people make sure people understand their hope and glory. We're going to make that of the most importance. We we cannot be led astray by what we see. We got to be bigger. We got to be better. We have to be more spiritual. And for anyone who will hear this and, and try to suggest that, oh, you, you're you trying to water down what happened. You don't know me. You don't know me. And if you go through my page, you'll realize that I'm one who called people to the carpet. I'm one who, who will verbalize and vocalize how I, I feel and I see a particular situation. But this time, Holy Spirit reminded me. This is not the this is not the way you fight the battle. You do not fight this particular battle because it's a spiritual thing. You don't fight it with your mouth in the sense of what you see. You fight it with the word of God. And you're going to have to become spiritual in this hour. You're not going to you you're going to have to watch your mouth. Because what you declare, you're speaking over your situation. What you declare is something that you are allowing to be manifested in your life. And if you got time to live um, the consequences of the word cur curses that you've spoken, feel free to continue talking sideways. Feel free to continue to allow anything and everything to come out of your mouth. Feel free to have no filter. But also do not complain about the life you experience because of your reckless tongue. This is the time to get the word of the Lord and stand on it until you see it manifested in your life and the lives of those around you. I don't care what happens in 2021, the word of the Lord will be performed in my life and yours too if you hold fast to it. I love you. I'm praying for you. And if you need me, I'm here. Inbox me. Inbox me. So, Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord God, that it brings correction. It brings encouragement. It brings truth. It brings love and it brings light. Today, God, I pray that we are challenged in our hearts and in our spirits. To, Father God, trust your word a little bit more. To, Father, look to your word to be the solution to our life. And that, God, no matter what goes on in society, we will stand on what is eternal. We will stand on what is true. We will stand on what has existed before we did. That is your word. And so, God, I pray that we will begin to have a hunger and thirst for it like never before. I pray, Father God, that we will not be people of sensation, but we will be people of the spirit. That we will not be moved by our feelings and our emotions, but we will be moved by faith trust and hope in you. God, I thank you, Lord God, that we will be beacons of light in this earth. That as the word talks about a, 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 a city on a hill, Father God, that we will be that city on a hill in the environment around us. That people will be able to come to us and find hope. People will be, be able to come to us and find truth. People will be able to come to us and find love. People will be able to come to us and hear righteousness and justice being declared. That, Father God, we will be a people who look like Jesus. And as a result of that, people will come to ask, what must they do to be saved? What must they do to have this perspective in life? What must they do to have this great hope? What must they do to know this kind of love? God, I thank you that in this season, we will be sons of God in the earth, operating fully in who it is you have called and purposed us to be. And we will not be dismayed. We will not be distraught. We will not be in fear by what society is doing, but we will stand firm on the word and declare what thus says the Lord. We love you. We praise you. We bless you. And we appreciate the fact that we mere mortals can be your children. We love you, we bless you, and we thank you for all you're getting ready to do in 2021. You will not be put to shame, great God. You will not be, um, uh, the enemy will not be able to outdo you. That Father God, this is setting the stage for what you have already desired, for what you have already put in the earth. A reformation is coming. A revival is coming. Souls are coming. And I, Father, I thank you that the laborers are preparing their heart to love like they should. The laborers are preparing their heart to speak over people's lives like they should. The laborers are preparing themselves to be who you have called us to be 
in the vineyard. Father God, the sun is going down. The time is getting dark and we have been called to be the light. May our light shine bright for the glory of God. In Jesus name, I pray. We love you and we thank you. Amen and amen. Mm. Great God. Great God. Get in position. The world around you needs you. And that's all I got.